project is Bluetooth Low Energy Technology for Vehicular Application uh, under the guidance of Mr. Uh, Ejjit uh, Amunkar sir. My, uh, myself, Yogesh Rakhuti. Modern production vehicles are highly comprised and the major functionalities of this vehicle are controlled by the electronic control unit. So, the sensor sends sufficient data to the electronic control unit by means of physical wires. So, in order to address the potential issues that arises from the physical wires, we are proposing here to use a wireless technology inside a vehicle. So, wireless sensor network and the electronic control unit forms a new architecture which is often referred as intravehicular wireless sensor network. So, which wireless technology should be used for IVWSN? So, here we studied the different wireless technologies that can be used for IVWSN and such as uh, ZigBee, Bluetooth, Bluetooth Low Energy, Wi-Fi, Ultra Wideband and then we came, up, uh, came across the Bluetooth Low Energy and proposed a Bluetooth Low Energy for IVWSN due to its potential benefits. So Bluetooth Low Energy uh, is uh, low cost, low power consumption, a low duty cycle uh, energy. First we proposed a Bluetooth Low Energy for IVWSN due to its potential benefit and then for experimental platform we perform a passive keyless entry system. Passive keyless entry system in which a vehicle detects a key when the key gets uh, in the vicinity of a vehicle and unlocks the door by itself. Okay, currently such system is implemented in a vehicle with a low uh, frequency RF signal and RF transducer is used to detect the key fob on a vehicle. But the current conception of such system is a very high. So here we are proposing a Bluetooth low energy which will address the potential issues of long latency and the cost of such uh, system. So uh, we perform the IBWSN by two ways. One is a standalone application and another is a uh, network processor. First we will see the block diagram of our system. System by using CC2540 development kit. Uh, Texas Instruments CC2540 is a uh, single chip BAV solution that implements BAV stacks and protocols. Now we will see the uh, block diagram of our uh, uh, in system. Basically, uh, CC, uh, CC2540 development kit includes a key fob, uh, a dongle, and a CC debugger. So we will see the block diagram. Now here we see the uh, this is the USB dongle. USB, USB dongle is connected to the PC using USB to serial link. Uh, on a USB dongle, there are host, low energy controller with adapt adaptation layer that communicates with the host and a PC. Uh, in a BLE node, in a Texas instrument BLE node, there are three layers, application host and a low energy controller that are uh, in a single chip. Uh, BLE node is powered by using a, a coin cell battery. BLE enable uh, BLE nodes act as a key uh, which are used uh, for the uh, vehicle. So these BLE nodes are uh, firstly pre-programmed by the car manufacturer or by the programmer, and uh, these keys are uh, these uh, keys are programmed as a peripherals, and the USB uh, USB dongle is pro uh, programmed as a uh, central. Uh, this USB dongle is uh, installed in a, a car uh, where a lock control system is established. So now we will see the uh, flowchart. Uh, in a flowchart, these two uh, the keys periodically when we powered on the keys by using a coin cell battery, these keys periodically sends the advertise, advertisements, advertisement packets on advertising channels, and the master, which is uh, USB dongle in our kit, uh, scans the advertising channel periodically. Uh, master send a request for a uh, peripheral to establish the link. So. Uh, uh, after getting response to the uh, uh, request sent by a master, peripheral uh, response to that particular uh, list, thus in this way the device discovery takes place. So we will see here that first in device initialization takes place, after that device discovery takes place. If there are any advertising, uh, advertising packets are there, then that uh, USB sc uh, scan for that advertisement with proper authentication. If valid keys is uh, found in a particular vicinity, then uh, a scanner uh, send a link, uh, rec uh, link, link request to the uh, peripheral if that request is goes with the proper passcode then uh, and this link is established then the connection manager uh, connection manager inputs that passive key to the active key this is uh, in this way the uh, our passive key gets act, uh, acts as an active key when all the keys are connected and if any keys are if any keys are disconnected that is removed from the active key list and the initial process starts one we implemented passive keyless entry system uh, in a car by using two ways. First, uh, first configuration is standalone configuration, and uh, another one is a uh, network processor. Standalone application is nothing but in this, uh, the every uh, application.
application has uh, every system has a host controller and application. So in standalone application, the host controller and the uh, host controller and application are implemented on a single chip. That is, uh, it is also referred to as a uh, SOC. That is system on chip. So we will first see the demo of uh, a standalone application. Uh, so uh, this is the USB which is acting as a master and placed uh, at the uh, at the controller side in a car and this is a keypo which is in a driver's hand by pressing the key that uh, according to the condition the door gets locked or unlocked. So now we will see the demo. So this is powered by connecting to the serial port and this is uh, and this uh, keypo is powered by inserting the coin cell battery. This is a uh, coin cell battery. So when I uh, when I press this uh, press this left button, then this there then there is uh, the LED goes on. It is nothing but the uh, status of the door. When the red LED goes on, it is means why it is mean that the uh, door unlocks. So when I press the press the key, the red LED goes on. So this is nothing but the door gets unlocked. And when when nothing is done, the it is means door is uh, locked. Now we have seen the standalone application. Now we will see the network processor application. In the network processor, host and controller are on one device and the application is on another device. Here we use some middleware of old that is Raspberry Pi for the application purpose. And we put our application on the Raspberry Pi. So uh, we, uh, we access the Raspberry Pi through putty terminal and uh, did the programming in it. And we also are showing uh, the status of the door on our web page that we developed in a Raspberry Pi. Uh, my skills are now when I press the key on a key pole, you can see the LED is glowing on here. And when I again press the key, the LED goes off. This indicates that the door is locked and unlocked. Door is unlocked. Door is locked. Also, the status of the door is shown on the web page, as you can see here. Also, the Kiko is having a facility of one sensor accelerometer, and we have uh, just used the x axis of accelerometer and showing the reading. You can see the continuous change in the reading of x axis accelerometer. Here, we can also uh, see the database of a Kiko when the key is pressed. Bluetooth HM10 module is also having CC2540 IC. So here we used the GPIO of CC2540 and the HM10 module uh, to implement this key fob as well as the USB. We, uh, we can program the CC2540 accordingly so that we can use the HM10 module as a key fob or uh, the USB dongle. Here we used uh, HM10 as a key fob and when we press this key, the LEDs go on or off. That's it.